All right, here we are back on the project. Since we've seen you last, what we did was we have re-bedlinered the inside of the bed and the tailgate. And then Chad has been nice enough to varnish the top. So now we're gonna start putting this thing together and here we go. What we figured out was they don't come with a lock nut on these things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a nylon nut over the top of the nut they provide. So it'll kind of double nut these things because if you don't do that, you're gonna most likely shed every one of these within about the first couple of hundred miles. If we just did the big, big drill bit from this side, it would chip the wood up on the other side. So we wanna do a cleaner. And we have to get through all this, so we got a long drill bit for that, so we can center right on the, the hole so the bolt will come through right. And then what we do is we go around the other side now and then drill the big hole coming this way so it doesn't chip the wood and things like that. Grab your bolt and in it goes, just like that. doing this actually with carriage bolts so the square part will pull into the wood and you'll have a just a little dome on top that makes it look a little better. The other thing we noticed Rhea's bumpers are pushed in a little bit. Little body shop trick here pretty easy. We call this a pogo stick. Perfect. We've polished up the sides of it and everything. New wood, old wood out. Next, we'll show it to Rhea. Hopefully she likes it. Well, Rhea, here you are. It looks a little shinier. It's gorgeous. We Look shined at that. up a few things. It's I tried to clean your wheels, but they're, I don't know, you know. <laughs> they, but yeah, love... we polished up everything. And then look at this in the back. Look at that. We actually redid your rhino lining oh on it. Oh my gosh. And then put in your bed. You know what? This is magnificent. Then... I am not kidding. This, this truck is probably worth another 50 grand. Oh yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, I'm selling this puppy for 100K. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I can't believe you grew up to do this. You grew, no, really, and when I know you told me about your past, about how much fun you had in your, in your hot rods and all your cars and everything, and then you, know, you, you have this wonderful business and you're still dinking around with still cars. Still like a kid. It's fabulous. I knew I was gonna do this since the day, uh, probably about five, six years old. People would say, what are you gonna do? I said, I am gonna own a shop that works on cars someday. And here I am. This is amazing. Yeah, this looks, it looks, I love it. I think it looks great made a big difference. It yeah. did, but I'm afraid to put anything in it now because I'm gonna like scratch it. Yeah, you probably will. I wouldn't put anything in it. Seriously? Carry Nothing? blankets. Just blankets? Wanna to go to the, like the drive-in so I can have sleeping bags back there? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Chad and I will have some, uh, yeah, have some fun bag, back yeah. here. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I love I don't, it. Uh, la, la, la. <laughs> la, 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 <laughs> don't wanna know about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. It's so beautiful. I cannot believe that this is my truck. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you admire on the road and you're like, oh my gosh, I get to drive it out of here. Yeah. Well, I just want to thank Brett from Van Gogh's. He did a beautiful job on my bed of my truck. And I want to thank my awesome husband for buying me my truck. And I'm going to go have some fun and stick around because there's a little bit more of AYL coming up. <laughs>